Idaho Falls is a really nice little western town. It's a good place to live, good place to raise a family. It's a city of about 65,000 and right on the Snake River. We have a beautiful waterfall that fairly long, it's probably a quarter of a mile long, and it's kind of a big attraction in town. The Idaho Falls Temple is, is right in the center of town. It's uh, sort of the center of spiritual life for a lot of the Mormon community in the area. A lot of these people around here will give you the shirt off their back. Idaho Falls is a very safe place to live. We don't have a lot of murder. Eighteen-year-old Angie Dodge was raped and murdered. Someone had raped and killed her. Angie's throat was cut. In her Idaho Falls apartment. This call came over the radio that body was found and suspicious or suspicious death. I want you to come and process this crime scene. So I'd probably been on patrol for a couple of months. Very green. You can actually see me on that original news footage. It was my first homicide. They cautioned me that it was a pretty graphic and violent scene, a lot of blood. And then they pointed me toward the front door, took photographs of it to show my approach. I get to the top of the stairs and I continue to photograph. So I enter into a, the largest bedroom and, and that's where I was able to see the victim. She's laying on the floor on her back next to a mattress. Her sweatpants were pulled down just above knee level. Her clothes are, are kind of disheveled. She had uh, had a shirt on that was slightly lifted up, and it was exposing one of uh, the cut marks on one of her breasts. I can see that she has some extensive uh, lacerations or incisions, stab wounds, and there is a horrific wound to the throat. There was a lot of blood. There were some blood marks on the wall. And then off to the to my right, there was a, a laundry basket and some stuffed animals. It was the, probably the worst case I've ever seen. It's the nightmare. When you have a child that's murdered, life just gets shattered. And I don't, there's no way to put the pieces back together. Angie was an 18-year-old girl. Uh, she had gotten out of high school just recently. She was looking into going to Idaho State University. Angie, <laughs> she was a loud, outgoing person. If she had something to say, she said it. Angie's car was called the boat, and uh, she would stick her foot out the window while she was driving. It was uh, quite the sight. It was fun. Angie was the youngest of four children. She was my, not only my baby, but she was my only daughter. She was extremely intelligent. She didn't take no for an answer. Angie had moved into an upstairs apartment in this house three weeks before being murdered there. The house was a two-story single-family dwellings and it's converted into apartments. It's an older neighborhood in Idaho Falls. It had seen better days. The police gathered DNA at the crime scene. The semen that we could see clearly all over the victim. And skin cells under her fingernails. We found one hair that was obviously different. One what we believe was a pubic hair. Some blood sampling, obviously. The killer absolutely left his culling card there. This was my only daughter. and. Uh, I hope you come forward and make it easy on everyone. Almost every person that they brought in for an interview, they asked them for DNA. We're interviewing all family members, uh, associates, friends of hers. 
we collected over 100 different DNA samples. And there wasn't any matches. Ultimately, it's six months. There's still no killer arrested. When you have a crime like this, violent, horrible, it fills everybody in the community with anxiety. And the police feel that pressure uh, to get that crime quickly solved. And then uh, a friend of hers was arrested in Nevada for raping a woman at knife point. Much like the similar circumstances that had happened in Angie's murder. Police take immediate action on this new information, but it's going to be a lead that ends up destroying innocent lives. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.